these next ones that I'm going to show you, these are pretty cool pieces. If you don't buy them, I hope you enjoy looking at them because they're not something you see this size every day. We all know the hardest thing to cutting urolites is not an easy task. So here are two that are amazing. The 63 gram slice is probably the only time I'm ever in my life going to have a 63 gram slice of a urolite. It is just remarkable. Let me show that one off first. NWA 14326. Look at that. Oh my God. That's that's 14326. Yep. Um I know that's thin. Hold on. No, it's not. Yeah. Not one like, four. <laughs> can make yep, it be second one, myself. 1432. Okay. Oh, it's not, it's not 60 grams. Sorry. I lied. It's the 37 gram one. Mm -hmm. See, I'll never have a 63 gram slice of Euro light ever. So for you're holding the 63 gram one, I think. No, I'm not. The 63 gram one's coming up. Wow. Trust me. It's impressive. Very pretty. For a Euro light. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine how hard that was to cut it that thin and how much patience you have to have. Probably a nightmare. Probably a three-day cut between cutting both sides. And then at the last minute, it breaks. No. Yeah, this is beautiful. And I got this directly from the, the main mass holder. So this is a full slice Urolite uh, NWA 14326. They're on. I'm going to put that back in there carefully because it actually occupies a lot of that case. You don't close it perfectly. There you go. It won't close. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, wow. This is the 63 gram, but it's an end cut. So this is NWA 15222. 63 grams and spectacular. Well, wow. wow. You can see the triple junction on this without even without even zooming in. You can see them all over the place. It's pretty wild. Both of our Yara lights were purchased from the main mass holders. Um, the main mass holder for this one is a uh, Salamu Ali, and uh, the main mass holder for the last one was Yoda Meteorites. I'm not sure who owns you. No, Salamo, Salamo owns. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so from yeah, I was like, I thought we got them for the same person. Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, first one uh, he showed it was one of only four slices uh, from the stone. Yeah. yeah he said I, after four slices, they were done. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would probably drive someone batty. <laughs> they probably ruined a couple of saw blades on it. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. but tilted it forward a little bit. You get too much glare in from the lights. Hold on. Well, I'm, I'm trying, trying to show, show you I'm trying to show you that glare in the vein. Oh, but the vein. The, yeah, that shows up. That's nice. Yeah, th that's where you can see the triple. If you look for those white lines, those yeah. are going to see the triple junctions all through the piece. Yeah. yeah. It's like loaded with them. Yeah. It's very, like a very, jigsaw puzzle. It's very yeah. cool. At least at least in live with, with uh, human eyes, you can see the difference. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is an uh, absolute... Uh, cool and it's it's for me your lights like i know i'm not going to buy any uh to cut so i'm only <laughs> going to buy ones that are cut and that is a beautiful colorful end cut um as well I as this one light on a meteorite quiz recently and i showed the outside of it and it tricked everyone topher told me if you turn that over everyone would have known it was a your light it's so yep. obvious and i'm like yeah, yeah that's, that's why i tricked everybody yeah. <laughs> this one right here is just spectacular yeah that's actually got a little color going on in there just a yeah little. wow all right i gotta put this label in there as well I opened it. very pretty um this next one here is a big slice of a winonite so this is nwa 13790 nice. and it has some really good metal in it too wow that's pretty slick mm -hmm. this one has a total known weight of only 838 grams Wow. A full slice of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. 
that's, a lot of <laughs> that's that's metalicious. Yeah. <laughs> Very nicely colored too. Yeah, that's that's one of the prettier one other nights I've seen. Pretty. Yeah, I, I was hoping that uh some of my Winonite that I purchased, Irichidia, the low metal ones, I really wanted them to look a little bit more like this because this is still considered low metal for a, a Winonite. That's or, amazing. Yeah, so it's not considered high metal, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That Irichidia sold like crazy. People contacted us for Irichidia like long after it was gone too. Mm -hmm. That's that's a pretty impressive slice. And it, it stinks because probably all of these little voids here originally had metal in them, more than likely. Looks likely. Seems yeah. likely, given that the one looks like a crack that's got two blebs remaining. Yeah. Well, that really cool. Is the big slice 50 55 gram winonite slice wow pretty now the next three winonites um there's a slice and two end cuts these were just recently cut and polished by chris monk okay oh yeah okay so we're moving on to this one here the 7.6 and the 16 and the 40. Okay, I got them all. Carl wants yeah. the 16. Carl okay. Let's jump right to the 16 then. Show you what that looks like. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's got a fair amount of metal. Some yeah. To it. Smaller veining. Nice veins. Yeah, nice veining. Small and this is a nice little end cut here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Love the end. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, that one That one came out really well. Good. That's a nice 16 grammar for you. Appreciate Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, this is the 7.6 gram slice. For $69. Yeah, 69 <laughs> It's divine. <laughs> And you can tell this goes right up against the end cut. Yeah, nice. sisters. Yeah, that's pretty. So this one is the $69 Winona night. And then there we go. I want that veining is great. It's really yeah, cool. I'm really super happy that Zoom's showing things off decently today. On yeah, Wednesday, nice, it's, nice for a Wednesday, it sucked. Um, so here's the big one. Ooh. 48 grams. And a really sizable. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. The paperweight. <laughs> so you have two end cuts and one slice from the same rock? Yep. Yeah. The middle slice and the two ends, right? They're they're silky smooth. <laughs> well, it's a nice puzzle piece. I wish I could afford the puzzle piece, but that's pretty. Yep. Yep. That's pretty. So that's yours. Very cool. And if you guys are more daring than me, you can take another slice out of this. Uh, I'm just, not that daring. I just didn't want to risk it. I didn't know how far down this crack went. I yeah. I, I, I wouldn't risk that one though. Yeah. Plus, I think every once in a while, it's nice to have a sizable. That'd be nice on a, on a rotating stand. So that one is like, what, 300 something? That's 387. 380. Yeah. So this one is a $69 one. And then we're going to be moving on. That one's pretty. Um, yeah, it is. Um, okay. Now, I think. Ooh, ungrouped achondrites, huh? You have another one all night. Uh-oh. Oh, I 30. do have another one all night. Yes, you do. I'm nice. looking at it right now. It's in the same tray. Yeah, there mm. you go. But this one is super sexy. Super, super sexy. It Complete. almost reminds me of Portales Complete. Valley a little bit. Complete. Wow, that does look um, like a lot like it. Yeah, from, one, from total known weight of only 700 grams. Wow. It's... um. 
Let me see, Topher, what did you say about it? High metal bononite, gorgeous specimen, sample has a fine grained crystalline texture composed of silicated crosscut by anima, <laughs> I don't know this word, anastomization. Yes, there you go, of metal and sulfide. This is the first Winona classification published in 2023, and it was from Yang Shun Chung. And it, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it, it really is. is. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I love those sharp 90 degree angles. It's super weird to see dividing lines like that in meteorites, but it reminds me of, like I said, Portales Valley at times. It's got almost that look, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a little less metal than Portales. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful material, though. So Very that's, pretty. That's the uh, Winonite 15622, just under 35 grams. Wow. Yeah, and if no one buys that, I'll be glad to put it in my cabinet. <laughs> I, I haven't said that to many pieces here tonight, but that's one of them. I will gladly slip into my case when Sue's not looking. <laughs> um, now we come to the weird stuff. This is the stuff that doesn't even look like meteorites until you do some isotopic testing, and then you realize, oh my gosh, that is a meteorite, and we don't know what it is. We're just going to call it an ungrouped. So... The first one is um, NWA 13272. Um, this is a 29 gram slice. Nice. Is this the glassy one? Yes, super glass. Yeah. That's very strange. It is it's wicked weird. Well, What's that, babes? It's from Yang as well. And I see the first fingerprints on the meteorite. <laughs> May not even be mine. It's not <laughs> fresh. Huh. It's got a no extra, no extra charge. Any any oils come for free. <laughs> That's very, very odd. Because there's there's no chondrules in there, but there's definitely <laughs> I would not have pegged that as a meteorite if you if you if you told yeah. Me. I might have picked it up and taken it home and said that's a weird rock because I tend to bring weird things home, like yeah. Carl. <laughs> like Carl. <laughs> <laughs> <see you. laughs> okay, so you got to be fast. You got to be fast. Okay, so that was <laughs> that one from four hundred. Now we go to the Al Bir Lalu zero zero one. Say that ten times real fast. <laughs> this stuff i is, can't say that stuff every time i mess it up this one is absolutely gorgeous um let me see here i'm going to show uh largest to small so we're going to start off with the 2.4 gram lots of green crystals oh. again that looks more terrestrial than the meteorite <laughs> the meteorite that looks most like that is org chech yeah yes. maybe Mm. That's pretty wild. Well, Earth Church didn't look much like a meteorite either. That's true. The the it green, looks obrightish with that white. Yeah, the green is not really coming through as well. Um, I see it there. You can see it now. You can when you tilt it. It looks a little washed out on camera right now. Yeah. To, yeah, that's just, this one too, and it, but they were hard to photograph. That's pretty strange. Yeah, look at it right there. So this is the ungrouped, and I, I would have to read more on this to see where and what they think it may be related to, um, but it may be, and again, I, I'm just spitballing here because we see these crystals. If they're sodium diopside crystals and they're familiar with uh, Erg Check 002, maybe that's a, you know something that links them together. I'm not sure. Maybe there will be an, a, a new grouplet soon. This is the 1.88. This is this is the stuff that I'm saying. If you have them, oh, look, you can see how green that is. That oh, is gorgeous. Yeah. This is the stuff that I'm saying. If you have microscope, even though it's not micros, this looks ridiculous under a microscope. I believe it. Look at how thick that <laughs> stuff is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Intermingling cream-colored plagio glaze grains with vivid green pyroxy grains. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
Would you go to meteorite college? Those are 0 0.05 <laughs> below the ATDs. Yeah, that one is really cool. And then you see the little impactor right there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This one's really nice because you, you can see the cross section of it. I really like that. And then we go to the smallest one, which is the uh, 1.566. It says it says the plagio clay is abundance at 60% of oh, wow. uh, higher than any diagenite, and the anorthic content is significantly higher than any typical ATD. Thank you, babe. Yeah, look okay. at all that plagio clay. Is that white? Um, this one's really cool. The the impactor is dead center in in there in the slice yeah. with a nice rust ring around it. Then mm -hmm. over here on this edge, look at the crystals hanging off. Oh yeah. Let me see. Yep. That's insanely pretty. It it really is. It the cream and the green look so cool together, especially under the microscope. I mean, no way in heck does that look like a meteorite. <laughs> Topher, I think this is one where you were telling I had to tell you no that you can't eat it. <laughs> I want <laughs> something that beautiful deserves to be eaten. All right. So <laughs> those are our ungrouped achondrites. All right. Hmm. Time to switch over to Kahoot. Well, we just came back from a pause and we had a little contest, a trivia contest, and Jules is the winner of a braconite. It is 5.1 grams of braconite. And we have reduced the price for one night only. So I will show you what's available for other contestants. Since we didn't record the game, we can at least show the answers. Okay, there we go. Are you guys seeing that or not? Yeah. Yep, we're seeing okay. it. Well, this was, yeah, this is the, the trivia game we just did. Who knows the most about Sue and Topher? Jules. <laughs> Jules does. So our cat's name. I think everyone knew this one. Got it. Got it right with Baggins. No, oh. she's just so cute. Is she? Bill's just so freaking cute. All right, on to the science. Um, hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> uh, these are all things that I did, except for the gigolo. Um, <laughs> I've been in IT for, well, since 92, I think I'm in technology sales and I feel like I'm in the matrix or an episode of the office every time. <laughs> Sue is very musically oriented, not I, and she plays three instruments, the violin, the viola and the mandolin. She looks awesome doing it too. <laughs> yeah. See, she gets the Stradivarius, and that's that that's what I look like. <laughs> um I played ice hockey for 17 years, and the position I played was goaltender. Oh. Look at him. <laughs> Stormtroopers. Yeah. I had to start no no team needed a goalie, so I started a team that needed skaters. Tell, tell them that the story behind the colors you chose. <laughs> oh yeah, we we didn't we wanted to make it cheap as possible because ice is very expensive in Phoenix. So we decided to go with puke green as our <laughs> only <laughs> <in a way. laughs> And we figured no other team would ever get puke green, and we were right. My son's name <laughs> is Ian. Oh, that's the picture you wanted to show them. Yeah. You gotta zoom in. <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, that's my, that's yeah. Ian was so cute. What happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we got married, not in the drive-through, but in Jamaica. There we are. Sue has a lot of siblings. <laughs> And everyone under guest, she has seven of them. Those are real ornaments that my stepmom made. <laughs> They're I like, guess they were huge. Oh, 
Oh, that is the first meteorite mansion right there. It is. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. We didn't lose the garage door opener or my virginity. It was a lunar meteorite. Um, I bunked up in a hotel room and I think everyone got the oh no, some one person said uh Chris Monk, but I bunked with Stephen Amara. If you guys uh, remember that picture from uh from Hangouts, that was a big clue. <laughs> um established in 2017. False. Established in 2018. It's been around for five years now. There we go. 